Hello, so today I'm going to start filming my decluttering my closet video. However, I'm a very busy person, so I don't have the privilege of having like a solid eight hours to just go through everything. So it will probably be split over a couple of different days and a couple of different clips. Um, but basically I am moving home and I thought I would take this opportunity to, yeah, declutter my closet because what perfect opportunity it is um but yeah so i will kind of start going through everything and yeah deciding what i need to keep and what i don't need to keep i've also since moving to this country i got given a lot of stuff from a friend i also had to pick up some more season appropriate clothes so i have accumulated a lot i did move here with just two suitcases but i have definitely accumulated more clothes pretty quickly so I think it's appropriate that I go through and try and minimize them down also because I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed with them at the moment especially trying to keep on top of washing when I'm really busy I end up just not doing it and then I end up with a huge pile because I have probably around two months worth of outfits like if I'm honest including underwear and socks and tights because for some reason I've just collected them over the time so I am going to try my best to declutter. I always love watching these kind of videos, but on the other hand, I hate how wasteful decluttering can be because I feel like a lot of people don't hold enough respect for the fact that they are getting rid of so much and like, yeah, the resources that went into purchasing this and everyone always says, well, like, it served its purpose because you've had it and the purpose was the spontaneous buying or, I don't know, I've just seen videos where they just have all these different theories, but basically it's wasteful and it's a privilege to be able to do this and I'm really going to try and keep that in mind throughout this process and, yeah, I might reflect back on this sort of idea at the end of my decluttering. So I will pick up the camera and show you the before shot. Um, so down here I already have a bag of stuff that, or two bags that I'm going to take to Vinnie's. Then there's just my winter coat in a pile. I have more clothes on my desk of course because that's where they belong. I have my cases that I moved here with and a, another box that everything needs to fit into. I have a basket full of my washing that needs to be put away but hasn't been put away because life is busy <laughs> and then this is my closet so yeah this is one side of my closet actually this is everything that's hanging up and in there's all my washing that is more clothes in that white hamper so, and then on the other side I have cardigans and tops and tights and underwear and yeah, skirts and all these kind of things, um, and shoes. So, yeah, this is like the before shot, and then I will film some more, and then hopefully, yeah, lots of fun stuff focus on my face, um, and then hopefully, it shouldn't take me too long, but it will probably take me a couple of days. So, there might be some outfit changes, and I might look different, and the lighting's probably gonna be different, but I did wanna film this because, yeah. I'm just interested to see the process and how it goes. So I will see you on the other side. So it is the next morning. Um, I think it took me around two to three hours last night to declutter. Um, and I still haven't finished, of course. But yeah, I thought I'd show you where I'm at. I think last night was quite hard for me because I really struggle with this like idea of wasting things. And especially like, you know, like this cardigan's gonna fall apart and right now I have like seven cardigans and I don't want to throw any of them away because yeah when this one falls apart I'm gonna need a replacement and if I already have a replacement I don't know it's like my weird my weird issue I don't know it's like I always this is why I struggle with like calling myself a minimalist or something like this because I always see videos of minimalists who get rid of all their stuff and then go buy new versions of the stuff that they already had and for me that's not even close to what it is and you know I'm making the assumption that not all minimalists do that and I do follow a lot of great people who actually do it the way you probably should do it but yeah that's just something that I struggle with a little bit and so when it comes to decluttering yeah it's always like a push-pull like should I know should I know like should I get rid of it no I should um so yeah it was it was tricky for me last night and um also, I'm struggling because this is my first time in upstate New York and we're about to hit winter 
and I've lived in Australia my whole life and I did live in London but the winter there was pretty mild the year I was there and so I have no idea what it's going to be like so I've also had to hold on to a lot of clothing just because I haven't seen like all the seasons through in this state so I have no idea how cold I'm going to be so I have a lot of excess jumpers and cardigans just in case because I'm really quite afraid that I'm going to be too cold because I've grown up in Australia my whole life where I'm used to warm weather um so anyway enough of my rambling let me just show you where I'm at <laughs> um so yeah this is what I have so the two suitcases is kind of everything I'm keeping so what I did is I went through that pile and then as I went through the pile I folded things all quite nicely and then put them in the suitcase I prefer to fold like Con Marie vibes because I don't know, it's just easier to then take them from the suitcase, put them back on the shelf, or whatever. It's just a very easy way to maneuver things around. So, when I said cardigans and jumpers, this whole half of one suitcase is all cardigans and jumpers. This is like tops, skirts, and dresses. There might be a few other things in there. This is like tights, underwear, tights, socks, woolly socks, and then like ankle socks. And then I also have this, which is more miscellaneous, like pajamas. Um, what have I got? Workout gear. I even put some bed linen in because I had space in this um, case. And then, yeah, just bits and bobs. So, yeah, that's all the stuff I'm keeping so far. Then I started packing my other miscellaneous stuff. Like, as you can see, the cupboard is now empty. Um, yeah, so this basket now has grown in size of everything that I am donating. And then let me just move my coat. <laughs> and this is still my washing basket to do that I haven't finished I need to wash all those clothes to obviously go through them and yeah I don't know what's that that's my jumper and then I started packing my backpack as well with my like reusable stuff like bags and whatever I have produce sacks in there and then up here this is the only thing that's left in the cupboard but I have my stainless steel stuff that I also need to pack in there and then that's also my camera bag but yeah I know it's coming along it's just taking a bit of time and then I've got hangers all on the floor and these are my jumpers that I'm keeping and of course my desk is a pile of stuff that I don't even know what it is but yeah this is this is where I'm at and I will see you once everything is kind of packed and ready to go and yeah this is a, a good process but a hard process for someone who hates waste um and yeah who wants to be minimal in a way that they actually are really happy with what they have that's that's my goal like my goal isn't to get prettier versions of the shit I already have like I'm just wanting to work in a way inwardly so that then I'm happy with what I have so anyway hope this was in some way a helpful update and I will see you at the final clip <laughs> Welcome to the last clip of my decluttering my closet video um, that's kind of just turned into me packing up everything to move but I just kind of want to do them at the same time because that's I just got to get it done and I'm moving in less than 24 hours so I just wanted to kind of do it all at once. Um, unfortunately I took the bag of stuff to the second hand store already so I forgot to film a clip to show you um, how much stuff I got rid of but it was basically one and a half big trash bags and a friend took some of the clothing and then the rest I just went to the second hand store um, yeah it was just very hard I think for someone who's trying not to waste as much as possible and yeah also trying not to spend <laughs> much money to like yeah get rid of perfectly functional items I'm not someone who follows fashion trends I don't really care if it does the job like a top or a cardigan or a pair of pants if it does that job great I mean unless it doesn't fit me anymore that's the only time I would like to like get rid of something but yeah so I found it quite hard but I did yeah I did get rid of quite a bit and I did manage to fit all my clothes back into my two suitcases which I couldn't do at the beginning which is why I decided to clutter my closet um yeah so it, it was a good process, it was just a little bit of a tricky one for me personally. Um, yeah, I would just say when you do it, just be so mindful of getting rid of things as well. Don't just like throw them all out and get, you know, especially if you're someone who's interested in fashion and, you know, trends. I don't know, like just try and 
yeah, think about it before you just get rid of it and feel the high of getting rid of things. Because I think getting rid of things gives you a very similar high as buying things. Like, I don't know what it is, it's just like when you get rid of a bunch of stuff, it's a very similar experience of when you, you know, buy new things. So, just be very careful in it. Like, I didn't feel this time, like, when I decluttered, that I had much of a high on it because I was just kind of more sad that I was having to get rid of things in some ways because I didn't need them in my life at the moment so it was just like a weird dynamic and I know I'm like rambling but I'm trying to like say my ideas but it's not coming out properly um but yeah I will be moving soon and I will do a packing party. Well, I've kind of done the packing part, but I am going to plan for the next year or six months to leave everything that I'm moving there with packed up and only take it out of the suitcase or boxes when I need it. So I'm planning to try and do that minimalist thing to see see how much of my things I actually use because I'm holding on to a lot just because of not wanting to be wasteful. So I really want to see well how much is actually just taking up space because of like my mindset of not wanting to be wasteful and what's actually being used so yeah I'm just trying to keep that in mind so I will just show you what it looks like everything that's packed up and yeah so here we go this is everything packed up into suitcases and bags so I have my big boots there I have kind of like toiletries in that wooden box I have this big black box underneath um, this bag has my school books in it and then I have my two suitcases so this is kind of everything packed up and then what I've sort of left out is just like laptop cords and one more outfit my jackets um, obviously my pillow because I'm sleeping with that at the moment and then just some toiletries just witch hazel that I use on my face lipstick um, is that toothpaste, hairbrush, toothbrush, and the daisy. Ah, and some keys apparently. And then a plant because I can't really pack a plant. And then I'm still trying to pack up my camera gear, but I'm going to be using it tonight because I'm photographing a festival. And then, yeah, my backpack that I'm going to be putting things in and one pair of shoes. So, yeah, that's everything. And I am moving soon. Yeah, moving in 24 hours and I will probably start filming this whole like packing party. I don't know, I'm going to have to come up with a name for it because it's not a packing party. It's just everything's packed up and I don't know what they actually call it. I need to figure that out. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any comments about anything at all to do with decluttering, you want some tips or you have some tips for me because that would be awesome. Yeah, please let me know. I hope this video hasn't gone too long and yeah, have a great day. See you later.